Fusion 5.2 introduces adjustment clips, a game-changing new feature that speeds up your workflow and enables you to create amazing visual effects. These yellow clips found in the Add Clip menu allow you to apply creative properties to all visible layers below them. Whether it's frame and fit adjustments or color corrections and effects, every frame of a video clip, image or title beneath the adjustment clip will mimic the properties you apply to it. So let's dive into five powerful ways you can use adjustment clips in your work. Whether you want to create something eye-catching or simply save yourself a bit of time while editing. At number one, we have the ability to animate the frame and fit of an entire scene. Instead of repositioning and applying motion to each clip individually, you can use an adjustment clip to animate multiple layers at once. Let's take this example where I want to create a smooth camera pan over everything in the frame. I add an adjustment clip over the section of the timeline I want to control. I double tap the adjustment clip to enter the frame and fit editor and add keyframes to shift the position of the entire scene from the bottom left to the top right. See how as I edit the animation here, I'm altering the position of all layers in the frame in one go. Now, as I play this back, all frames directly underneath this adjustment clip move together in one seamless motion as they play, giving me an eye-catching animation without me having to keyframe each clip's motion individually to achieve the same look. Motion keyframes used on an adjustment clip enable me to zoom my entire scene in and out, rotate it around, or create a transition of my own to move it on or off screen. And if I'm in a rush or want to achieve a complex animation in an instant, I can even apply one of LumaTouch's motion presets to an adjustment clip, adding dynamic movement to an entire scene as my video plays out. In at number two, adjustment clips let us apply color and effects to multiple layers all in one go. Gone are the days of copying and pasting visual changes onto every single clip just to preview a look. With an adjustment clip, you can instantly apply different presets to shape the mood of your entire scene, making it easy to change the look and feel of your video in an instant. And it doesn't stop there. Keyframes let you gradually evolve your color and effects over time. With an adjustment clip, I can, for example, apply a comic mix effects to this scene, smoothly adjusting its intensity between keyframes. Rather than having to apply the keyframe changes to each clip, I do this action once on the adjustment clip and my entire scene within the frame is edited. Talking of keyframes, in at number three, we have the ability to keyframe changes over a sequence of clips. With an adjustment clip, a single keyframe animation or effect can take place across consecutive clips. For example, here we have a sequence of videos on the timeline. By adding an adjustment clip above the montage, I can keyframe a slow zoom in effect where each new clip will pick up from the same frame and fit as the clip before. The same goes in the color and effects editor where a gradual change can take place across a sequence of clips. Just look here as the color fades from my clips as the sequence plays on. Coming in at number four, adjustment clips allow you to speed up your workflow with batch effects. Adjustment clips aren't just about creativity, they also save you a ton of time, enabling you to apply the same positioning and effects to an entire timeline at once. For example here, where I want to color grade the entire project in one go. Or in this case, where I want every clip to be slightly punched in. This speedy workflow where you're creating batch effects across many clips allows creators to produce content fast. Whether you're making a simple change or creating something more specific, like here where I'm transforming landscape footage for social media, you can give your content a consistent, polished aesthetic. And last but not least, we have the ability to experiment with bold ideas. Adjustment clips can be moved around your timeline by just picking them up and dropping them off somewhere else. So when you've made an animation or effect preset that you really love, you can quickly test these different crops, compositions and animations by moving them around your timeline. And if you decide you don't like it after all, you simply delete the adjustment clip in one simple action and your original edits on the timeline remain untouched. 
So there we have it, five ways to use adjustment clips in your editing. Go ahead and have fun with these, and of course, let us know in the comments below what you create.